everyone! Today we're going to be going over how to make your laptop aesthetically pleasing. You're going to be able to learn how to... Oh, I messed up. We're going to go over how to make your desktop wallpaper and you're going to go on Pinterest and figure out what pictures you want as your wallpaper and make it into your own style. Also, we'll be going over how to make the icons on your screen larger or smaller, however you prefer, and how to make your <laughs> cursor <laughs> how to make your cursor smaller or larger as well. I'm going to import a screen recording of my laptop onto the video so you guys can see exactly what I'm going to be doing. And we're going to start recording right now. Now we're going to be going over how to change the size of your apps and your icons on your screen server as well as your cursor. You're going to start off by going on to view on your toolbar and clicking show view options. Next, you will see the dial right here to change the size of your folders and app icons. They can go like this or like this. I prefer them as 64 by 64 because they just look good like that. So next, we will be going into your cursor size and you will be clicking settings, typing in cursor size and it should pop up right there. And then... The dial again, you can move it however big you want the cursor to be. I prefer it to be right here for now just because I'm showing you guys the video and I want you guys to see wherever I'm going. And then that's it for the cursor. We're going to be getting into how to make your customized wallpaper. And you're going to start off by going into Canva. And you're going to be basically creating a collage of all the images you want on your wallpaper. And as you guys can see, I already have most of them here because I wanted you guys to have an idea. I personally wanted to do my favorite 80s movies, but you guys can do whatever. You can use that as an inspo board, clothing outfit ideas, anything really. So I have the Goonies right here, and then I have Ferris Bueller, Stand By Me, Breakfast Club, and a cute little quote, I am creating the life of my dreams, as well as a Coke soda can that says girls just want to have fun because I will be importing a picture from that movie. Next, to choose whatever image you guys would like, you guys will go into Pinterest, and since I already have the next one right here, I typed in Girls Just Want to Have Fun movie, and I'm going to be downloading it. You guys will click on the three dots, click Download Image, and you'll see on the top right-hand corner of Safari an arrow pointing down, and it shows you the downloaded image. And once you see that, you just click on it, and you drag it to your desktop, and it'll appear right there. And then next, you guys will go back into Canva, and you guys will drag that image from your desktop onto uploads and you guys should see right here that it's going to be uploading the image it should be going right now yeah right here so it's uploading slowly once it's all blue in that circle it'll mean you guys can transfer it onto your wallpaper so now we just drag the photo onto here and you guys can change the size of it however you guys want it to go and now pretty much, since you guys get the gist of how to download the images and put them on there, I'm just going to be recording what I'm doing, and then you guys will see the video of me not talking them. So we're going to want to click download from here. And make sure you download it as a PNG and just click the purple download button. And then again, it'll pop up on the top right hand corner of Safari right here. And that's my downloaded wallpaper. And it appears on my desktop right here. This is my, des my desktop wallpaper right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to set it as the desktop. So once you've downloaded that, you're going to want to just hide Safari. And I personally am going to trash all the images I downloaded already because they're going to be everywhere once I set like my new wallpaper and I don't want that. So I'm going to trash all these for now. Don't trash all have fun picture, I'm going to trash that. I'm going to trash that ceiling. And I'll put this right here and that's my wallpaper. So now that your wallpaper is appeared on your desktop, you're going to want to right click it by clicking control and then right click. And then set that desktop wallpaper picture set desktop picture sorry and then what voilà, that's how it looks you guys that's how my wallpaper looks it looks so nice i'm gonna put all of my little recordings in this empty space that i left for whatever files i had on my screen just so it looks neater 
But yep, yeah, that's how my wallpaper looks and I really love how it came out. Okay, now that we've made our marvelous new wallpaper, we're going to want to add a lock screen message. It's something where you leave a little message for yourself whenever you open your laptop and I think it's really cute and I want to show you guys. So you're going to want to start by going into System Preferences. Next, you will be clicking on the bottom left, this lock, and typing in your password that you use to log in into your own laptop. And then check off Show a message when the screen is locked, and then make sure to click or type in whatever you like as your message. I'm probably going to put something like, um, Make today a productive day. And then you click OK. And then make sure to click the lock again because it secures everything that you wrote down. And then it should be set. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks. I'm going to click lock screen. And then right here, you guys, it says right here, make today a productive day. It's so cute. And then this is your whole new wallpaper plus the little message that you left for yourself. That's all for the video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed making your laptop aesthetically pleasing with me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.